<laughs> Hello, my sniffers. Okay, we have to talk seriously. I'm about to tell you what I just saw. But before that, for those of you who are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Check out my channel. What we do here is just simply show you how to love, love birds. And for my loyal sniffers, I love you so much. And you may know the person that I'm about to talk about. Here it goes. Okay, this wasn't what it was supposed to be about. We're actually on our way to the Rose Parade. Late. What's new? Anyway, for those of you who follow me loyally, do you know Randy Raj? If you don't, you probably gotta follow Randy Raj on Instagram. I'll put his Instagram right here. Bing! And um, you probably want to follow his YouTube channel too. So Randy just put out a video and I am mind blown. Honestly guys, I'm mind blown. And I think I need to do a reaction video to this video. I only watched it once. I was kind of like this the whole time. And I need you guys to go see it because it's kind of amazing. It's almost like he captured, what is it like, George? It's like he captured the motive of everything that I'm doing, but through himself, his love for my channel. I don't know, guys, you gotta see this. It's like he thinks he made a commercial for the Vinny Gang hoodie. Yay, Vinny Gang! But it's, I don't know what to tell you. It's like the movement. It's like he understands the movement and loves birds but at the same time I don't know it's just uh, it's just amazing if you guys see it you'll know why you got to follow his stuff it's really funny anyway long story short <laughs> that was the long story before the story okay uh, it's morning I'm not good at mornings okay we are on our way to the Rose Bowl parade which Carolyn invited us to and we're late so I don't even know if we'll make it to the actual parade but I really wanted to meet her bird she's got two birds two new birds what you're gonna ask me a question right now yeah you, you're bringing snacks. This, how, yeah, because we how am I gonna make this at her house? <laughs> no, because she's. This is great stuff. Don't get me wrong. No, but, but this, is this isn't thing. something you can snack on in the middle of. The <laughs> I know. It's because. <laughs> no, it's because I know you know I'm not good with food, but like I brought snacks for These other I people. Don't, I don't like no, but I got. I, but it's for everyone else too. You're so cute, though. I love you. Thank you. I'm gonna have to put half of it back. But you could have woke up early and packed it. Why is it that I'm always ready first? Anyway, we're on our way to the Rose Bowl. We may not make it even to see the Rose Bowl anymore because George, he claims he's sick and stuff right now and one side of his body doesn't move, so we've been really slow. But at least we'll get to see Carolyn and meet her new birds and then I guess this is what that will be about. So I'm really excited. She has one bird named Glory. That is her new hyacinth macaw, but it's not her new baby hyacinth macaw. She got one of those two named Love. We're gonna meet them today, but Glory is a rescue and um, is having a few behavioral issues So I'd like to take a look and see if I can help it all too. Okay, that's it. Let's get on the road George I would love to bring you but you're just like get car sick You should be in the Rose Parade. Tell them. What are you doing? I'm looking for different snacks Well, we have to go now. Okay Let's go. Oh bring those, those are, I don't know. Oh yeah. We don't need snacks at the rate we're going because we won't be there. Oh, I made tea. Such a good parking spot in the end. Like someone moved yeah. and it was crazy. It's over yeah, guys, that was the parade. On to the next. We're right here, we'll take you wherever. The first interaction, she was like the same to me in the beginning. Uh -huh. Beautiful. And then when I didn't show fear, she likes me. Yeah, before I got oh, there. Oh, so she's really needy to you. What? She's really mm -hmm. needy to you. Yeah, look at, she wants to come over. She's like yeah. hanging off, it's like, get me, get. She Nobody. bit you? Yeah. She bite you? Oh. Okay. Alright. Alright, just stay with you. That's but right. that's what happens. If if you do that and give her back, that's like she you lose the opportunity to socialize and socialize the bird. Just work with her. You have to take her to a couch and just sit calmly. Hello. She's also very No, she doesn't want to. She wants to get off of me right now. But ah! 
That's exactly my point. See? She wants to get off. I know, of you. but if I try to take her right now over there, she's gonna she's gonna bite me. Look, she's so mad. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry. She's like that too. <laughs> she's like, I want you. It's okay. Okay, so you have a handful. Yeah. Hi, beautiful. Are you beautiful? Yes, you are. You're a lover. You're a love bug. You're a love bug. You're a baby. <laughs> oh my god, how much bigger than Hope is Glory? Yeah, Glory's so big. She is huge. And then Love is also huge. Rocky's okay. also big. Let me get this veggie started and then I'll show you Love. Okay, I want to cuddle Love. Yes. Yeah. Are you guys hungry though? Yeah, definitely. Do you I need help with anything? George will help um, you. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, guys, George just found something that Glory likes. Isn't that funny? That, like, she's so picky. Yeah, she's so picky. You were she telling me eat. she didn't want anything, and yeah. now George found something. Wow. You like Sweet that? bird. She must be also really hungry. So if I put her up here, she breaks stuff. Yeah, but also if you put her up here and she has behavioral issues, it's going to be hard. She likes for to be you up to... high, it's not good. Look at her dancing, though. The bird room. Look what you did here. This was once attached. You see this? This was like attached right up to here. You can see the. Matt, oh. Matt she's mad. Because oh. you walked away, she's mad at you right now. What? She, she took the bowl and literally went like this and to get your attention. She's like, I am mad. Okay. She dumps the bowl. She and just all the took floor. the bowl right now and went like, picked it up and went. Argh. Like when he walked away, she's like, don't walk away from me. Yeah. And that's her scream. I can't put her anywhere without me out. She's like screaming nonsense. Okay, come here. Good. All she wants to do is like sit on my shoulder and look what I'm doing. It's so intense. And that's a lot when you have lots of other birds that need attention. Yeah. And you can't carry any other birds with you. No. I had Love here. Love can kind of stand his ground. You want another one? Another tree? But she Be and nice. Hope doesn't get along, so Hope is very jealous. Well, Hope is like, what has happened here? Mm. Hope is not excited about this. And my angel is here! I love angel, yes! Oh yes, my angel. It's so hard with an adopted bird. Like, my life totally changed. <laughs> adopted <laughs> birds are different, right? It's so hard with adopted bird. I just have always babies, Great. except for Faith. She was kind of like a... A rescue but not a real rescue that I got from a sanctuary she's like you know precious flew away and Dream. then I found faith yeah. instead it was like you know like, <laughs> rehoming is almost always a rescue situation because what people don't understand about birds is there's so many different kinds of birds some people are more experienced with mm -hmm. some birds and not other Dream. birds some people are great with baby birds some are great with rescues most of the time when you get a rescue bird you're bringing in all of the behavioral problems that that yeah. bird has so so to get like you know you come into my house how all the birds are quiet and docile yeah. I mean we build up some stuff like Vinny dive bombing and all that but it's for like you know for fun, for fun. but you see yeah, like you saw you held Vinny like he's just normal but like that's that's um, not easy I like what you see is adopted birds are rescue birds but they have all these issues like they do. if you get a baby bird you can imprint in them you can love them it's like your own you child train them, however you want. train them exactly and they know you when you, they, you can put personalities on them. Yeah, you, know? you can. But with a with with an adopted bird, you get all the bad behavior from the previous owner. I have now to retrain her, and it's so hard to retrain this bird because it's like taking an old man and trying to actually uh, teach him new tricks. Yeah, it doesn't work. It's not going to be changing her. It's going to be changing the environment and letting her get used to that environment. Is this well. this is your first like real adopted bird? No, I have two. I have Faith. Besides for Faith, but this is like the, the big, real. yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Plus it's also a macaw. It's not just a little yeah. bird. How old is Faith when you got him? I don't know the age of Faith. Yeah. You know, I love you. Too. I know what you mean. It's, see, here's the difference. You free fly birds. Right. Which is amazing. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful thing that you she free fly. She wants to come look at you. Hi. I think you do like me. I have a <laughs> feeling you like me. But you free fly birds and yeah. other YouTubers that free fly birds say the same thing. That they have to get baby birds. What? Do you want love? You want to go away? 
You can come. Nice I'd probably have to not be holding the camera and give her like a, a good environment. What I want this point to be made, guys, is that Carolyn free flies birds and other YouTubers that free fly birds will say the same thing, I know, that they get birds from the time they're babies. And that's a beautiful thing that some of us that rescue birds can't really offer our birds. For this reason, like, sure she gets baby birds and she gives them this amazing life, you know? Right, and, and it's so it's much commitment and work and effort to put into a free flight bird it's not easy same yeah exactly. it's not easy to go every like three times a week like 90 minutes road trip to let them fly in an open space no I admire you so much for that and then I would love a baby bird but I feel like because I have the the know-how and the talent to work with rescues that's why I give my time to rescues and I feel like it's my duty to the bird community to rescue birds and adopt that's birds amazing. and I think what we both do is amazing and I think this bird's very lucky yeah we want to try to grow out her wings and have her fly she okay. would be also more healthier if she can fly but she has never flown I think in the first year she was a year they, they she she was she, she flew and then they clip her so I don't know even at this point if she has breast Rocky muscles. Fun. Oh yeah, she needs probably a great amount of breast muscles. Breast muscles. She can't even but Rocky, jump. Rocky's gotten really strong. But you know, Rocky had like, even though he wasn't flighted, I feel like he had strong, he had a very mature look, didn't he? All I know is when Rocky was first with us, he was clipped, he didn't fly, and we, we then let it grow. Just now, it's been like, what, six years now? So now, just now, he's able to fly and he'll land and, and not hit anything. Because before, he would get scared and he would like... Six years, it took six years for him to, to learn to fly. Not but to learn to, to fly, be able to, control to... Flight. Yeah, birds that, birds like... Leo can fly, but he's probably, he rarely flies anywhere. They need to build up confidence. Yeah. And also, it's also if, the control of being able to stop. There's yeah, another, they know. They, that they can get up, but they can't stop it. They can't turn around in midair. Yeah, Like right. Vinny, I mean, uh, it's been a while now, right? Vinny's now is finally capable of like, you see him, I remember when we he started doing this, it was like, he was able to like turn in midair, come back and do all kinds of weird things and go all kinds of different directions. Bomb. And do and whatever it is, yeah. <laughs> He had full control, exactly. And he didn't have that till maybe two years ago. Yeah, th because the thing is, first they need to build up their confidence. And when you let a bird fly, you could see the difference in their flying confidence. Right. Too. And that takes a while. And also in their character. In their character, They're too. so confident. Like Destiny mm -hmm. dive bomb him uh -huh. and swoop him and hit him with his belly purposely to show like he can fly and he's the boss. True, they also become resourceful. Like Picasso was very resource resourceful within the house. I first let a lot of my birds grow their wings out because I saw the confidence. I also didn't feel comfortable with how bad their balance was when they were flying. Right. <coughs> Look at you having fun. Where's your sidekick? <coughs> oh, your sidekick said here I am. Hello. <coughs> what do you have to say about this? Oh, I want to sniff you because I know you sniff so good. This was like <laughs> all beautiful and normal. <laughs> and now Why like, did you even think that was a good spot for it? Because when I had no birds, I could like take it down and read it. But now it's like, it's not new anymore. <laughs> it's their toy. Let's see what grandpa's doing. George, I'm going to meet Love. Okay. You want to come meet Love? Uh, I'm going to bring him out. I, I, I want you to meet her. I need mean, him first. Oh, you guys have to wash your hands. Okay. Yeah, you go and do your thing. Hi, handsome. Okay, my room is so messy. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, Angel! Are you gonna film me sleeping because you didn't let me sleep last night and then you wake me up in the morning because of your alarm clocks at six in the morning and then you go back to sleep and then I'm tired. If you were as youthful as me, you wouldn't be tired. I tied my hair up because I just want my arms to be free to meet Hope. How huh? you came all the way here to meet Love. I know, I'm just I'm tired. Oh my god, I'm so excited. It's Love. Wow! This is Love? Hi, love. Come, love. He's really. Hi, love. Oh. oh, somebody's awake. Hi, how are you? I'm very excited to meet you. You're that sweet. Hi, love. 
Yeah, he sleeps with me like at night, like not the whole night, but just like right before we go to bed we cuddle. And he sleeps right on my chest. He's like a feathered angel. <laughs> Stiffer. <laughs> Hi Angel! Have you ever like hold and see a baby? Hyson? Not a baby. Hysons are the ultimate birds. Like once you have a hyson, you never want another bird. They're like a baby. He goes like with his head like this onto your breasts and just wants cuddle. Basically hyacinth are like cockatoos in a macaw's body. Mm. Yeah, kind of. They're called the gentle giants. Oh my and they love cuddle. And I could love you too like cockatoos this. Love cuddle. So if I cuddle sometimes love, like Glory gets jealous and she comes, she screams, ah, I says come. And then she wants me to go over to get her. And then we cuddle together. He's tap dancing. What? Oh, do your tap dance. He's doing his river dance. No. <laughs> oh, so cute. He flew away the other day. What? <laughs> Where did he fly? All around the neighborhood. He circled around green. I was about to load him to a, to a road trip. We went out flying. The cage broke. The bottom fall down because the hat pull was too heavy. And he, got, he flew around the neighborhood. And I just had to take uh, hope. Um, because he's recall trained, I says, come here. And he was on the tree screaming. It took him 30 minutes to come down. He had three attempts to fly over to me until he got it right. It's so hard for them to maneuver through the trees. Yeah. Especially like it's a pet bird. But then I'm, I'm just like sitting in somebody's backyard. I had a, I found a gap in the in the fence. So I went to this neighbor's yard and I just sat there and he came flying right into my head and sat on my head and I got him back. Oh my god, you're so lucky. <laughs> she might, she's gonna do her hair of river Look dance. Look at that walk, I can't. Oh. It's our new family photo. <laughs> <laughs> you think that's funny? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You just hold the bird and I'll love it. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know what I think it's amazing? The other day when I came visit you, you opened the door and you had like Jersey, <laughs> Leo, little Nelly, and then you had Cody. You had like five birds on you. Yeah. And you're like a scratcher, like, fuck him. <laughs> you know why? Like, because birds are sitting on scrackers, right? Yeah, you know why though? Because that's why it took me so long to answer the door because I had them all upstairs with me. Oh. So Monty's upstairs, so he was on me too. So I dropped him off and then I came down and my plan was to like, you know, come down with them and like put them all around us or whatever. But I had to answer the door with all, that's how I go upstairs with all those birds. Mo usually more, right, George? Like I carry them all up on me at once. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, oh, oh, oh my god, you thought I was like, Carolyn is coming. Yeah, I was like, I'm here. Hi, Carolyn, like, I'm bell. here with my 12 I birds. ring the bell, nothing. I ring the bell, nothing. I call you, I text you, nothing. Five minutes later, it's like, she knows I'm here. Why is she not coming down? <laughs> Seven minutes later, hi, with all your birds. <laughs> in a perfect row. If you have a lot of birds, you can't take any more birds than you can carry. No, I'm serious because you know what? Like Rocky is like, can't be with them, but all of them, I train them all to be with each other. So I take them all down. Otherwise you'd have to be making four trips because I have to, my whole thing is about inclusion. So I'd have to be able to include them all together. Otherwise I don't know how it would work. Okay guys, you don't know this, but before she got love, she sent me a picture of love as a baby. Jenna and I were like send us a picture of the foot because we just love animal feet hey, and bird feet. Sorry. George, come over here too. Right here. <laughs> love is gonna fly over. Love! Angel? Come on. Good boy! Come on, love! Good boy! Angel and Destiny always have this like fly race. Amazing. Thing. So nice. They always chase each other. Guys, I can't. This bird is so sweet. 
You can't tell me this bird's not the sweetest. <laughs> I love all the birds flying around in the back, like taking over. Ooh, exciting! Ha! <laughs> Oh, so Hope just landed on me. Didn't Hope just land on me? Yeah. I think Hope's jealous. All these crazy birds around you. What shall we do? Oh, they're crazy. No, oh, I'm getting a real bear hug from a bird. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Oh, my. I love it. Guys, welcome to the forest. Are you getting all this? You can move the camera, cameraman. You can move it a little here and there, okay? I can't even figure out which Welcome to my life. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I do. Are you getting any of this? Seriously. Okay, they're all calm. All right, everybody, I'm gonna say fly. Three, two, one, fly flies. Hey. And that's how you get them to stay still. Good <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I hope he's so cute. We're here from National Geographic. I am in the middle of the forest. This forest is you called talk with an Australian accent. Forest a la Angelics. <laughs> okay, this is the angelic forest right here. Over here we have this one. Destiny. On the tree. Destiny. And then eating up the door, we have Hope, who already landed on my head, surprisingly. And in the big high. Sloth mode. We have faith. You're in sloth mode now. Do you want to play with love? Love can hang out with me if you want. Do you want love from me or do you want love from me? Like, do you want me to give you love or do you want me to give you love? Those are me. Love. Okay, I'm gonna guess which one you wanted and you tell me if I'm right, okay? I'm guessing this is the love that you want. Oh my God, did you want to stay on me? Huh? You want to stay on me? That's amazing. Oh no, the battery's dying. Hello. Just in case the battery dies. I just want to tell you guys, thank you so much for watching. Oh my God, that was so cute. Don't forget to subscribe to mine and Carolyn's channel. <laughs> you look like a crazy bird, lady Carolyn. It's crazy in here. <laughs> thank you guys so much. I love you, Glory. I hope you 